tonight on Super Nanny. Stop. <laughs> Life with three children, it's tough. <laughs> Meal times are difficult. You can eat it, it's good. <laughs> don't you throw up on me. <laughs> what was that discipline? We definitely don't have the shared vision of our styles. It's quite clear, you just caught an argument. I did? Yeah. Oh, I did Yeah, you did. You're gonna eat all of it. I don't like it. I know, honey. You literally just made us the bad cops. How are you going to undo that? I don't know. Just go back to this. This week, I'm in Pennsylvania to help the Sampogna family. Angela and Dom are struggling with their three children. Giuseppe. No! All right, come on. I don't want to make a tomato bite. Rose, put that back. They struggle when it comes to meal times. The children won't try anything new. So I'm here to help eliminate the tantrums and to work out exactly how I can help this family. Giuseppe, one little bite. Just a little no, bit. We're the Zamponias. I'm Dom. I'm Angela. We live in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. With our three kids. I am a high school counselor. And I am a graphic designer. We met at my family's party. I was DJing, and she was a photographer. I asked him to watch my camera bag. And I did. <laughs> and I got her card, and I knew that she was the one. We've been married for 10 years now. Dom is my best friend. But life with three children, it's tough. <laughs> Dominic has all these wonderful qualities, but sometimes he will instigate. <laughs> Rosaria definitely has a lot of sass. <laughs> Giuseppe is our youngest. He's a little class clown, but he can have a little temper. Meal times are difficult. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Their menu is really limited. Try it, smell it. Don't you throw up on me. If they don't want it, then they're not going to eat it. Do you want pancakes? Do you want muffins? The challenge is we don't have the time to make a nice meal. This is not fun for mommy. I pick them up from school, and it's dinner time. But it is hard to get everything done. You're working, you're exhausted, and there's just not enough time. You just run, run, run. hard for us to be firm and to really put our foot down. Do you want to sit in the timeout all day? I just want to be the fun mom that, you know, plays with you. No, stop! I wish they would respect me a little bit more. Rose, what's wrong? I'm at a breaking point. I said stop! I want to fix things now before it's too late. Stop hitting me. Joe's coming for the first time, and I'm feeling kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect. I'm hoping that Joe's no-nonsense attitude will help me discipline my children. Let's go see who it Rose, is. Put it down. It doesn't. Hello. Can I come in? Yes. Hello. Hello. How Hello. are you? <laughs> how are Welcome. you all? Angela. Angela, Angela pleasure nice to meet you. you. Dominic. Tom, pleasure to meet you. Nice pleasure, to meet you. Dominic. And there's Dominic Hi. too. Yeah, and shake this hands. is Dominic too. Hey. You're Giuseppe. Hey. Pleased to meet you. Shake my hand. <laughs> how are you doing? I love you. And Bracelets. Rose, how are you, darling? Good. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, so observation day for you guys today. OK. With me here watching and just do what you normally would during the day. Come on in. OK. OK. We're going to get ready to have lunch. Yes. yes. OK, oh, lunchtime. Yeah. OK. Rose, are you going to set the table? No. Dominic, Daddy's getting your hot dog. And Rose, you said you want pizza? Yes. Yeah. Giuseppe, you said you want the meat one? The meat one with the Oreo. I don't have that one, honey. Why? We have a separate Oreo. We, we have, have separate yeah, I can Oreos. give you an Oreo separately. Dama, you want a hot dog? I will give you an Oreo after you eat this. Giuseppe. What are you going to have? 
Dominic, what do you think of him crying like that? It's annoying. It's annoying for you. Right. Joseph is four years old and his behaviour is, is very regressive. It's so immature for a four-year-old. So it's definitely taught behaviour and it's been encouraged because when he behaves that way, he gets what he wants. You want me to feed you? Why? How old are you? So you're feeding him now, is that what you normally do? No, not always. No, not always. No, to help. So, yes, coax, but coax sometimes. Them, yes. <laughs> yes, but sometimes. Yes. No, but. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. My philosophy is when they start whining, yep. they get the opposite. Right. If they calm down and then they present it to me, then I'll, I'll consider that. Dad knows that giving in to the whining is no good, but he's just numb to it. Do you want to show me around so I can get the layout? Sure. We'll do the kids' rooms. So this is Dominic's here. Yes. And the kids are at bed at what time? Around 8.30. Right. We have to be out of the house by 7, 10 a.m. Rose has a 15 to 20 then. minute routine, though. Get on my room right now. No! No! Giuseppe, put that down. No! Put it down. This is. All right, let's go to the chair. No! Oh, oh, okay, go sit and time out and then I'll come. Come on. Don't. I'm gonna sit right next to you. I'm gonna put the timer on. That to me is not an effective time out. You know, they're kind of going through some of the steps and really not explaining anything. Listen. <laughs> That's not the way it's going to run. OK. Don't think it's funny. Instead of doing the steps correctly, Dom is just playing with him, which is giving Giuseppe mixed messages. I don't even know if Giuseppe really understood what that was. Huh? No, let's not play with that. I'm still probably going to win, but you got a good shot here. Giuseppe, how'd you play the game? Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Rose, can you just put that to one side, please? Just put it by your back. Giuseppe, how do you play the game? No way. How do you play the game? No! I was no! Giuseppe's not showing the attention or the maturity I would typically expect from a child his age. So that's something we're going to need to work on. You wash your hands. Can I talk to you in the other room? Sure. Great, thank you. <laughs> Just sit here. So where do you think Yay! you need the most help? Giuseppe, he's not listening. I have to repeat, repeat, Giuseppe, Giuseppe. Um, I mean, definitely at the meal times. Yeah. Trying to get all of them yeah. to eat more foods. Yeah. <laughs> The whining gets to me. Like, I can't stand the noise, and I want them to be quiet, and I, I guess that's why I give in to them so fast. Yeah. I mean, it's hard, you know, being a working mom. It's, it's a struggle to get laundry done and housework done and trying to get certain places at a certain time. Sorry. <laughs> Dad works full-time, you work full-time. Yes. So you feel like you're on the production line with getting things in order and ready for the yeah. next day. I mean, we come home, eat dinner, get homework done, and then go to bed. It's like, we don't have time together. So you're missing the time with the kids? Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard getting, and then when they're not cooperating, you know, they whine, and I, I'm like, I can't do this now, guys. Like, I try to, you know, just give them what they want, like, which I shouldn't do, and I know that as a parent, I shouldn't just give in and say, you can have this toy, you can have but this toy. But you do it, why? I, don't, I guess to make them happy and to keep them quiet. Clearly, Angela's feeling some guilt about being a working mum and concerned about how her kids feel about having less time with her. If she had some more genuine quality time with them, I don't think she'd be so worried about enforcing the boundaries with them. Dinner's ready. I want a hot dog. We're gonna try meatballs and spaghetti tonight, okay? And you can have cheese on it. Take a bite. Do you want cheese? 
Oh. That's just seasoning, honey. How much salt is on the spaghetti? It smells gross. I want to taste one bite, okay? One bite. It's delicious. You guys, do you know that this is gonna make you stronger and stronger? Tuppy, you used to eat this all the time. So all that time doing those meatballs and the kids don't want to eat anything. And you don't want to eat for what reason, Tuppy? No reason. No reason. Well, at least you're honest, I guess. Guys, two more minutes on those and then we need to go get our baths. If you want your snack, then go ask Daddy. What's the snack thing? What's that? They get hungry before bed. They get hungry before bed? Mm-hmm, because they're not eating dinner, so they're going to be... So what do they get? She's getting an ice cream sandwich tonight, I think. An ice, ice cream sandwich? <laughs> they're there. So you didn't eat no dinner, and now they're having ice cream right before bed? Or even Giuseppe, didn't eat dinner, get an ice cream as well now. Yes. And you only had one bite. Yes. But he's got no problem swallowing that. You're exactly right. Are you doing baths and I'll do put clothes I'm away? I'm doing baths. No, we're not having anything. Because it is bedtime. Giuseppe. No, Giuseppe. Wait, I want to have No, no cheese stick. You just have an ice cream sandwich. Your belly should be so full. No, it's not. It's not at all? Why not? Giuseppe, stop punching me. No, no. Stop. You're tired. We're not eating before bed. Stop it. Stop. Right now. Meals in this house, they're a disaster. I mean, not even a single vegetable to be seen. The kids don't eat their dinner, and then they get a great big sugary dessert. And that leads to the bad behavior. I need to straighten this out. Don't kick me. So it is my first teach day. The kids are at school this morning, but I have asked mum and dad to take some time off at work. And I'm about to go in and actually talk to these parents about what we need to do to change. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. You are? Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're going to sit down and have a parental consultation. Is this going to be a busy day? It is. A busy, productive day. So let's go over what I have seen from Observation Day and what I believe is a priority to change with your family. Dom, let's start off with your... Discipline, mm. because I don't know what you were doing for discipline. I don't know what that was. What was that? Giuseppe was carried downstairs and put onto a chair, and he cried, and then you went over to him because he was crying. I, I do the best I can when I feel like that's the moment. For a young child of four, that becomes very confusing. I don't even really know if Giuseppe quite understands what's okay, what's not. Where's the boundary line? And so I'd like more clarity and consistency around discipline. We definitely don't have the shared vision, I think, mm -hmm. of our styles. You do have to be a little bit firmer. I want to go straight to Giuseppe. Giuseppe's four years old, but his behaviour is so immature. You're moddy coddling him. Right. You're disabling him from doing all the things and all the milestones that he needs to reach for his age. Mm -hmm. I want him stimulated mentally more. Mm -hmm. I want him challenged. And I think also the foods that he's eating, it's nothing but rich carbs, processed foods. They're high in salt, they're sugars. He's eating before he goes to bed. All of them do. They're not eating healthier. That's going to take the courage, I think, because that's every day. Yeah. That's several times a day. What struck me, Angela, was the way you talked to the kids about dinner. Try, just put it up to your mouth. Just try a little bit as if that was really bad. What you do is you shape this sense of being apologetic for them eating the foods that are healthy for them, instead of it being, that's just the way it is. And so most times, it's easier just to give in and feed them the over-processed food. And I say it in a very empathetic way because I know as, as a mother, that that has come from you feeling like, at least if they're happy with me and I can give them what they want because I'm not home much of the time, then they'll see me as a loving mother who did care, even if I'm only around for an hour of an evening. Sorry. 
No, I mean, <laughs> it's the reality of what it is. Your love is through food. I mean, you, you hit my point. <laughs> I mean, you're right on target with what's going on. I want to look at your time and see where we can tweak and make it more efficient because all they want from you is quality time so that you don't feel like you've been feeling. There's much work to be done. It's going to be hard, mm -hmm. but I'm ready for the challenge. I'm not a person that likes criticism, but I'm doing this because I want to be a better mom. I'm ready for a change. Are you ready? When do we get started? Now. Yeah, All right. definitely. Yeah? All right, let's do the same. All right. Okay, thank you. Let's get thank cooking. You. All right, so we went shopping yesterday. First, I want to stock Angela and Dom's fridge with healthier food. And then we're going to have basic chicken and vegetables for tonight's dinner. The kids will probably resist, but I'm going to help the parents through it. Pumpkin seeds, wheat bread, lettuce, apples, and avocado. And it really is about your attitude, and it's about saying we're going to eat healthy as a family, and the kids just getting used to that palate. Mm -hmm. Because they haven't, they'll push back. Right. But as soon as you're like, well, this is what we're eating, and it's wonderful food, and you should try it, and you set the example yourself, mm -hmm. they'll eat it. Is that the kids I heard? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi, Giuseppe. Hi, Dominic. Rose. Back from school? Yeah. Thanks. I just had it. I yeah. think everyone should get out and get a bit of fresh air whilst it is sunny. Before dinner, I want these children to be outside playing so they are using up their energy. They're coming indoors hungry. Did it. Good job. You need to pull me so high, please. We're <laughs> having a wild go And then tonight, let's see if they're hungry enough to eat what's on their plate. Hi, y'all. <laughs> This is going to be good. It's going to be good stuff. Dinner's ready. I want chicken nuggets. Well, this is what we're going to have right now. That's tonight. This is tonight's menu. <laughs> these kids just need to eat the healthier food when mum and dad cook it for them. The first tip is for these parents to show enthusiasm for when these kids are eating home-cooked food. All right, everybody. You guys excited? It's exciting. Mm. You guys, I got one. It's just a pickle. A pickle. It's like what we grow in the garden. Yeah. Come on, stop faffing around. Just put it in your mouth and eat it, love. You can eat it. It's good. These kids are doing exactly what I thought they would do. Resist, push back. And they're hoping that mum's going to give in and give them that old food that they're used to. You have to give tough love. Come on, Giuseppe, you're doing good. You're almost there, buddy. Keep going. We knew that this was going to be tough. You know, we got to stand firm, and we can't go back to what we've been doing. That's the way it's going to be. You're going to eat all of it. I want them to eat, but I hate to hear them cry. Stressful. Put another piece in your mouth, love. OK. Well done, Giuseppe. Well done. Dominic, well done, love. All right, well done, Giuseppe. Good job, buddy. Giuseppe had a small victory today at dinner when it comes to eating vegetables. You know, that would be one of the last things I would say he would probably eat, you know? And he muscled through it. And Rose, you need to eat some vegetables, please. Don't take it out of your mouth, just chew it. The food was yucky, and I didn't like it. Are you going to put a bit of chicken with some veg or a bit of carrot with some chicken? You decide. This child eats chicken nuggets and yet a little piece of lean chicken with some fresh carrots and broccoli. Can't do it. She's just learnt that she can hold out for that big fat dessert. Rose, we're not happy with this behaviour. You're going to eat all of it. I don't like it. Okay. I know, honey. <laughs> I know. What did you just do? I know. You make it look like I know. we're I know. the bad cops. Dom and I are now the bad cops. You literally just made us the bad cops. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's not going to change it. How are you going to undo that? I don't know.
literally just made us the bad cops. I'm sorry. But that's not going to change it. How are you going to undo that? I don't know. Come with me. Oh, boy. Angela just undermines all the work being done when she agrees that the healthier food is gross. And she needs to be on board, otherwise nothing's going to change. Does she want the change? What's wrong with that food? There's nothing wrong with the food, but I just know they don't like it. Because you've been giving them crap to eat. This is behavior. This has nothing to do with their palate. Because every time it got difficult for you, you gave them chicken nuggets. When you behave that way, it makes Dom the bad cop for making them eat healthy. And in there, do you know what he's doing right now? Damage control. All right, let's see one. Let me and see. And it's not fair for him, because he knows what's right. And I know you know what's right. You're too worried about your kids not liking you, rather than being focused on doing what they need. We've got to change it, because it's a drastic situation. Eat up, Rosie. You're almost done. You almost got this. Just put it in your mouth. Come on, Rosie. It's nice and good food. Look, see that? Look. Oh, she has no problem eating this. Oh, Look, what are these? Oh, What's that? What's this? Chicken. Does she eat these? Yes. Oh, because they're breaded. And what does she have on her fork? Chicken. Come on, Rose. That's pure behavior. Good job, Rosie. This is about if I make enough of a fuss, you might just go back to this. Am I making my point? This has all got to stop. Are you ready for it? I am. It's hard, but yeah. No, I don't want to hear it's hard now. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Dom, come over here for a minute, please. You need to make a choice right now that you're moving forward and these kids are going to get real, lean, healthy food because what I see right now is an urgent situation. Don, what's the answer? We got to get hard and we got to get tough because once we get over the hump, it gets easier. Mm -hmm. This is the hardest part. Right now, we're facing the hardest part. Right now. You're going to need to support each other through this. And more importantly, John, you're going to need to support Angela through this. Mm -hmm. I was getting upset and angry, especially when Joe threw a chicken nugget at me. I know it's junk. I know it's processed food, and it's not good for them. Just hard to see my kids cry, and I just want to comfort them. It's tough. But tomorrow, I want to see a better day from you. It's my second teach day today, and I was tough on Angela last night because what she's done is created a divide in the family. I just know that if Angela doesn't get strong, she's just going to continue to enable these kids. Is her. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi loves. She's sabotaging the children's new healthy food plan. OK. All right. For me, what I see is a battle of wills with respects to behaviour. The only way you break their behaviour is by breaking your own. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to give in to the children by giving them what they want. But as a mother, it's about you being accountable for making sure that you are giving them what they need. We will work on tweaking your routine today that supports you both being at home and having quality time with the kids. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It makes sense to yourself? Yeah, very yes. clear. It's small baby steps, but it's got to be a united front. I do want to change what I'm feeding my kids because I want them to live a happy, healthy life. But actually making the change is very hard. Hi. What's going on, buddy? I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. Let's get moving. We only have Joe for a very short amount of time. I really want change, so I just have to trust her and believe that she knows the right thing. She's done this for so many families. As soon as they start complaining, get them out. As soon as they start complaining. Hey, guys, we have snack here. Strawberry yogurt it is. Oh, do you know you what I was thinking? Come with me. Come away from the table for a minute. Eat up. This is going to fill your stomach. I want to slice it. 
if the kids don't have anybody to negotiate with, they'll stop. It's Dad, can I cream. talk to you about the uniforms for a minute? Oh, yeah. So by making yourself busy, you don't fall into the children's trap. When they complain, just say, it's fruit, you like the fruit, and then just walk out. Make it very nonchalant, right? And then let them get on with it. It tastes like strawberry. Taste it. Yummy. 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 Snacks time went really well. That was good. And it has given me power to move through the day and to be stronger at mealtime. You guys finishing up? Good job. I'm just trying to keep myself busy when they whine. I'm always done. I'm not. Good job. Me too. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good. I think Angela's in a stronger place. One more. Okay. Scrape that up. When the kids are eating good, healthy food, that's the one that builds the Look muscle. Look at that. Done. <clears throat> Angela isn't stressed out, and that's the place that I think we wanted to get there, and, and now we're actually getting close. Guys, that was a great snack. Ding, ding. <laughs> That's it. A good victory today. Let's go over the family routine right now. Mm -hmm. Every household has a routine that needs to be tweaked. Angela's a full-time working mum, and she struggles to spend quality time with the kids. So I'm going to create a schedule with her to give her exactly that. So should we do breakfast around 6.45? Yeah, to be... yeah, I think you're right. Spot on. And they're at school then until what time? Dom will get home with the kids probably around 6. What's going to be important is that when they get home, they've got dinner ready for them because that's when you're going to start to see blood sugar level drop. That's when you're going to see the kids really hungry. Mm -hmm. So how do you prepare that food for the week? You take stuff out the night before and you make stuff. You can do that with Dom. Right. And you're home at what time? 6.30. There's no reason why these kids couldn't be eating at 6 and done by 6.30. Mm -hmm. So you could spend an hour with them. Mm -hmm. Let's call it your golden hour. That becomes you know, time where you connect. Right. So I should just play and talk right. for a good solid hour. And then get ready for baths and then bed. Mm -hmm. This is about breaking old habits and creating new patterns. Through just write exactly what we wrote here. Absolutely. The routine gives mum the golden hour because she felt guilty. And then she would express herself by giving these kids all the sweets and chocolates that they wanted because she never wanted to let them down or say no to them. And Food became really the symbol for her love. Angela, why don't you go through this with everyone? OK, kids. So every morning, you guys are going to wake up, and you guys are going to get yourselves dressed. And then Daddy and I are going to rotate making lunches, so it's not always Mommy. And then Mommy is going to make some dinners ahead of time, so we're ready. So Daddy's ready to heat up dinner for you when you come home so you're not so starving. 6.30. Guess what time that is? It's called the golden hour. Where's golden? That's when mommy sits down and plays with you guys. It sounds like a good plan. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a great plan. You would boil this broccoli when that's soft and ready. Chop, 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 chop. Throw it in with the spaghetti mm -hmm. and the sauce and the meatballs chopped up. Okay. I'm going to teach Angela an old trick, cutting up small pieces of vegetables and mixing it into the entree will make it a lot harder for the kids to pick out. This is what you meant, right? Absolutely. Putting it all in there. Oh. And the meatballs are in there, too. Yeah, lovely. Meatballs? Spaghetti, meatballs, broccoli and carrots. I wanted all the stuff like on the plate and there's the spaghetti bag. Well, that's what we're having, guys. Eat up. I And how it's too? Mm-hmm. How it's too big? No. They're soft. You can eat them. I just want the normal spaghetti. So do you think it will snow tonight? No. It might. When the kids try and rope you into the same mold, don't have an argument about it. Just deflect by changing the subject about anything else. Do you guys play out in the snow? Yeah. Yeah, but not today. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't forget to eat your carrots, Rose. You know, if you eat your carrots, mm -hmm. you see better. Dom's almost done. Mm-hmm. All right, Dom's done well. How's it taste? Delicious, huh? <laughs> I think the kids are starting to pick up that we're on a different path than we were before. Good job, guys. You guys are doing great. Too good. Come on, guys. Let's go up. Let's go. Let's go eat your pajamas. Come on. In your room. Mine. Mine. That's not yours. Yeah, it is. No, let's get yours in here. That's mine. Giuseppe. Come on, bud. Giuseppe, mine. this was yours. No, that was Come here, I have one for you. Here. That one is mine. Look, look, this is yours when you were a baby. No, that one is Giuseppe, mine. this was yours. No. Giuseppe, Giuseppe, put it back. One, two. No, one, two. Giuseppe, <laughs> let go. You're gonna fold that blanket and you're gonna put it back. Mine. Because mine. Rose had it. Whose blanket is this? Honestly, mine. It's yours. I don't know whose blanket it is. No, it's actually mine. Right, it's, you're saying it's your blanket. Right, stop for a minute. Stop crying so I can understand you. So you're saying this is your blanket. OK, and you'd like to have this on your bed. Is that what you'd like? OK. And, Mum, what's the problem with this? Is this his blanket? I, I mean, they all use it, so it doesn't... It's not really his blanket, but... Right, so why do we stop him from having it, then? Because Rose brought it up from downstairs and specifically folded it and put it in her drawer. But it doesn't belong to anyone. No, it's everybody's. Right. So if he would like to put it on his bed, I don't see what the big deal is. She specifically put it in the yeah, drawer. But it doesn't belong to her. It's quite clear. You just caught an argument before bed. I did? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did. Angela just adds fuel to the fire. Instead of resolving, she just creates more conflict. I mean, she's a glutton for punishment. We don't need unnecessary tears before bed. What is the right fair thing to do? Mum, what's the problem with this? Is this his blanket? I, I mean, they all use it, so it doesn't... It's not really his blanket, but... Right, so why do we stop him from having it, then? Rose specifically put it in the yeah, drawer. But it doesn't belong to her. It's quite clear. You just caught an argument before bed. I did? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did. We don't need unnecessary tears before bed. Tears and tantrums for no reason. Yeah. Mummy, go and get Rose, please. Rosaria, can you come here, please? I'm going to demonstrate to Mum how to handle situations like this, fair and square. Come on. So, Rose, come here, please, love. Come here. So, I've just discovered that there was some argument about this blanket. And now I know the full picture. What is the right, fair thing to do? Nobody should get the blanket. Why? <laughs> Why should nobody get the blanket? When she went to put it in her drawer, mm -hmm. you should have actually said, this does belong to everybody, Rose. And as this belongs to everybody to share, and you clearly are putting it in the drawer, which means you're not sleeping with it on your bed tonight, that means that actually Giuseppe can sleep with it tonight. And should tomorrow you like to sleep with it, then you'll have that option too. And everybody can take turns. Because that's fair, isn't it? That's being fair. Mm -hmm. There you are, sir. What do you say? So, if you want to sleep with it tomorrow, you'll be able to sleep with it tomorrow. OK? You hear what I'm saying? Don't add fuel to right. the fire, because if it's to be shared, then you've got to show kids fairness. Right. Don't change this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's my last teach day. I've seen some improvement with this family, which has been great. Morning, morning. Good morning. There's still so much work to be done. We've been working on meal times and creating healthier options. Dominic, I know we're going to get some homework done, right, with yeah. Rose? So whilst Dom is downstairs with Rose and Dominic doing their homework... All right, Dom, we're going to start with math. Mom. I want to have Mum upstairs with Giuseppe, giving him a playful challenge whilst they can also spend time together. What do we have for you, little fella? <laughs> Puzzles. For me? Yeah. All right, let's put away the games. I'd like to see Giuseppe move forward with puzzles. This is a real important part of 
Just a piece of development. See the edge of the picture, buddy? See, matches. So Good idea. All right, so let him do as much as he can. It will increase his focus, his attention span, and also give him a lot of self-esteem. Just <laughs> <laughs> Belly press. That's a good move. Oh. What piece is next? So go to your next piece. Where do you think that one goes? Good job. <gasps> you did it! Yeah. High five. No, don't jump on it. Giuseppe, high five. Well done, Giuseppe. Ow. You did it. I think it's time for everyone to get in on the fun. Show all your puzzles. Uh, oh my goodness. Which one did you make? You wanted yeah. to show? What, you did these? By yourself? I think it's so important for families to come together and just have fun. And let's face it, whilst they're playing the puzzles, they're not overdoing the screens. <laughs> <laughs> and since puzzles come in all different levels, it means the entire family can be challenged and have some fun. Yeah! Hey guys, lunch is ready. Well, look, I'm going. Are you leaving? I will be soon, yes. I will be leaving this family for several days, so I will see exactly how they get on when I'm gone. I am hoping that they are going to continue implementing the work that has been done. Thank you. See you later. Bye, see you. See you later. I'm kind of nervous because Nanny Joe has been my coach, but it's up to me and Dom to be a coach together for our little Zamponia team. Rose. Six more bites, six more bites. Come on, you got this. So I've been gone for two days. I have let this family get on with what they've been taught. It's been a tough ride for this family, especially mum and around meal times. So I'm hoping to see improvement there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you both. Not having Joe here, it was tough, but I still heard her voice <laughs> trying to push me along. So I'm anxious to see how I've been doing. Let's do our parental review at the dining table. Sure. Are you both feeling good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> All right, so let's take a look over the last couple of days. How well you've done with Giuseppe? How many sharks are in that peach? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, buddy. I'm so pleased to see that. I really am. To be able to set aside time to be able to do that with our children, I think, is fundamental. Done. first arrived he was he was quite babyish mm -hmm. and when we have an expectation of him to step up to the age that we know that he is and what he can actually do he meets it every time mm -hmm. he's actually playing by himself and doing something on a level that requires thinking and problem solving without needing you there all the time so well done for that Angela all right golden hour yeah There you go, playing with the kids. I'm glad to see the routine is working. Quick five. Go back to your bed. Go back to start. Giuseppe. Giuseppe Rocco. Let's play the game together, okay? Giuseppe. This is your warning. Let's finish playing until we're done. Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> you did a great job wrangling in Giuseppe and keeping him engaged. So important because you were like, I can't, I come home, I feel bad, I'm working, I miss the kids. Mm -hmm. Crucial. The kids really enjoyed it. It was like mommy time. Now let's take a look at meal times. Oh, yeah. Not bad. At school tomorrow, I want you to prepare the seeds. Oh. Sweet. Sweet. The kids are getting used to different foods, which is brilliant. All right, what have we got here? Giuseppe, did you get to play 
Yummy. Okay, the distraction was brilliant. You don't allow the focus to be on the food. And because of that, everyone's eating. So it's great. Well yeah. done, the pair of you. Bring Nanny to do your card. Here's mine. Oh, thank you, my love. Hope you have a safe trip. Isn't that lovely? Aww. Thank you. Nanny Jo from Dominic, thank you. And is this one from you, Giuseppe? Yeah. Is that a dinosaur? No, not a Pokemon. What is it, a Pokemon? <laughs> I have fun with, with Nanny Jo. I love you, Nanny Jo from Rose. This week has been life changing. Nanny Jo has come into our house and transformed my children and helped me be a stronger person and more confident mom. Bye, Giuseppe. Give me a kiss. Give me some love. Give me a big hug and kiss. Say thank you so much. Okay. When I arrived, this was a family that had major problems with eating healthy and a mother who didn't know what to do. Thank you. Now I leave this family more confident and so I hope that they will continue with their whole family eating healthy and having quality time together. In the beginning of the week we were a family that was just getting by but now we're more intentional. <laughs> All right guys, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, thank yes. you so Take much. Take care, appreciate it. So thank you, bye love. Thank you so much. This week I learned how to talk like Nanny Jo. Hello, eat your vegetables, Rose. On to the next family now, and uh, hey, a whole other set of challenges. Next time on Super Nanny. We have four kids. I got pregnant when I was 16 years old. Get up. Presley's like half our age. She talks back a lot. Do not stop. Do not stop. My husband is preoccupied with video games. I would see Brock invested in it too. An habitual behavior like that is called addiction. That's a big word. I'm hearing Presley get snappy. You need to stick up for yourself. Things are about to change. That's a lot to ask. 